Now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. We're continuing to break down Governor Gina Raimondo's budget that was just revealed late this afternoon. As Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell tells us, the budget includes fees for large employers whose workers are on Medicaid and a ban on short-term health insurance plans. Susan? Caroline and Mike, those short-term health insurance plans are sometimes called junk plans. State officials say they're already uncommon in Rhode Island, but they say they want new consumer protections in writing. Access to short-term health insurance plans was recently expanded by the federal government. Supporters say the short-term plans offer a safety net, an alternative to high-cost plans. We do not want junk plans. But Lisa Vera Weiss, Rhode Island's Acting Health and Human Services Secretary, says the so-called junk plans often don't cover some of the basics, like pre-existing conditions, maternity care, or mental health care. The proposed budget would ban the plans in Rhode Island. What we don't want is for a uh, Rhode Islander to get some you know, nice marketing materials that say that they can have a health plan at very low cost. And the worst case scenario is that that Rhode Islander signs up for the plan and then has a medical emergency, ends up in the emergency room and they find out that they're not covered. Another piece of the budget, charging employers for tens of thousands of full-time and part-time workers who are on Medicaid. The employer should chip in and have some shared responsibility. The new plan would only apply to companies with 300 or more employees in Rhode Island. It would cost 10% of an employee's wages up to $1,500 per employee. And employees who have Medicaid because of a disability would be exempt. For our large employers, we're really hoping that this uh, is recognized as a modest assessment and it may even encourage some of them to take a look at their benefits packages and, and see if they want to make any changes. State officials estimate the plan would generate about $15 million next year. Another big idea in the budget, create a backup insurance program to help pay for the most costly patients. Officials hope that could reduce premium increases for all consumers. My colleague Ted Nisi has details on that and more in his roundup of the 12 things you should know about the budget. You can find that right now on WPRI.com. Of course, if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 Fraction Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell. Eyewitness News.